what we are going to look at are templates, specifically Dreamweaver templates, which is a DWT file. It has a special file extension. And let's look at how they work and creating one. So if you notice in our site files, there is no templates folder listed. And what's going to happen once we create a template is we will have a templates folder listed inside our files panel. It will be created directly inside our root folder and I cannot move it outside of the root folder, and I also do not want to put any other files inside of it because it can prevent my templates from working correctly. So what I'm going to do is open up the cast and crew page, and this page is an entire web page created already. It's got the design I want to use for my other pages. So this is the page I want to use as a base to create a template from. So how do I go about doing that? Well, what I do is go up to File and go down to Save as Template. It's as easy as that. So I'll save it as a template. I'm going to save this as main. I'm also going to give it a description, main template for site. Now you do not have to put a description in. I just want to put it in so I can show you where that shows up. So I will click Save. Now this little panel is very important, this little pop-up. If I say no, my links will not work when I create new pages. So it's crucial that you click the yes for updating links. The reason for that is because Dreamweaver has created this templates folder and it's moved my main template, main.dwt. I named it main, Dreamweaver added the extension in my root folder where it must stay. If I move this out of my root folder inside another folder or add additional files, it will not work correctly. So be careful about that one. But I have it listed here. Let's go over to the Assets panel. And you can see in my Assets, the second icon from the bottom is the Templates icon. And I have an entire web page in here, believe it or not. This is my entire cast and crew page. Kind of hard to see, but it is in there. So I can use this templates panel to edit. If I needed to change something on this, I can either open the page directly and do some editing, or I can select it inside of here and click the pencil to edit. Notice my DWT file has the CSS file attached. It's exactly like the original HTML page. So that is our template file. Now, where does that description go? If I go up to File New, like I'm going to create a new page, and I say Page from Template, you choose the website, you choose which template you want, but you can see here's the preview, and here's where I wrote Main Template for Site. Make sure as you create new pages from your templates, that you keep this checked. Otherwise, your templates may not update correctly. But I now have a Dreamweaver template sitting in my root folder that I can use to create additional pages from. So I will just cancel out of this. I just wanted to show you that one so you could see it. Now, this templates area in the Assets panel, in case you create a template and it doesn't show up right away, click this Refresh button. Don't get too concerned if the template isn't showing up. It probably doesn't refresh. The Assets panel is somewhat famous for not refreshing the second you add something. If I click out of the panel and come back in, it's like a refresh or just select the refresh down here. So that is a template. Now when I go to save this template, and I've already saved it, there are no editable regions on this template. So if I create a new page right now from this, there will be no way to edit. So once you create a template and you go to save it, I have already saved it, so my little interface is off. So let me make a change so I can show you that. I'll just add a space here. When I go to save, Dreamweaver is going to prompt me, and it says, wait a minute, you created a template, any pages you create from it won't have anywhere you can edit. So this is just Dreamweaver reminding you. So I'll say, okay, yes, I want to continue. 
because I haven't created my editable regions yet. So that is something that needs to be done in order to work with a template. But that is creating a Dreamweaver template. It's as simple as doing a file, save as template, and giving it a name. 